Um, others on Energetic Forum have had success in lighting uh, CFLs with the Jewel Thief circuit, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, this is the basic circuit. Um, so I'm making a change only in the sense of hooking up an ignition coil uh, leaching off of this coil. So um, uh, I also wanted to go for a really large inductance here because uh, people who um, are trying to build the big Jewel Thief are putting a much larger inductor here. So I bought an off-the-shelf triad transformer, one-to-one, 176.10 one, millihenries, using that. Then on, on the secondary side, just hooking it up to an auto-ignition coil that you can buy at any auto store. Pretty inexpensive. In fact, get, get the cheapest one you can find, actually. Um, then uh, uh, 1.5, you can play with different battery uh, voltages here, um, but the, the real challenge would be to do it with 1.5 volts. I thought I'd use a D cell because D cells have a lot longer um, milliamp hour rating, so you, you can have a light that lasts a little bit longer. Um, anyway, um, managed to get this to work. Uh, I kept forgetting, I was trying to do self oscillation, but I, 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 in reading a comment from Gina about putting a variable resistor here, it's like Oh yeah, duh. I mean, you can tune the frequency here, find the exact resonance point, get this voltage on here to go up as high as possible, and um, sure enough, we have lights going. And it's a pre pretty decent light, and you can probably uh, string uh, many lights in series this way, um, playing around with capacitors and inductors, but... Um, what a thrill to get a really nasty shock from a 1.5 volt battery. <laughs> That's, uh, that is just kind of defies uh, reason, but, but it happens. Um, so here's the circuit, easy to replicate. You can buy this off the shelf. You can, oh, I, I bumped up to a higher uh, value of transistor a tip 31 so that I could pump in higher currents in here if I wanted to up this voltage to be something higher. Um, it might be necessary to put capacitors here to limit currents to make this sort of uh, resonate at a different place and sort of put current limiting on here so that you don't uh, drain the battery too fast and things like that. So the, the challenge here is now to pull power from this battery, uh, the least amount of power from this battery and light CFLs. And then you'll have a very nice lighting system that runs for a very long time, stealing jewels, using the jewel thievery technique. Um, watch out for this hot wire coming out of the ignition coil. Um, so with the pot, here's a little pot. Um, I can dial around and as I do the resonant peak changes, you can find the spot if you hook up another, uh, um, if you hook up a neon here, a neon is a kind of a good way to see the resonance as well, or you can judge it based on the brightness here. 